Welcome back to Telling Tales with Mrs. Taylor. I'm here with my pal Hedwig. How you doing, Hedwig? Aren't you going to say anything? You don't want to talk to the kids? How come? Oh, you miss them so much that, that it makes you sad that you can't see them in person? Oh, well... I think you at least ought to try and say hi. You might feel better, right? Okay. Can you hear Hedwig? He's been sad because he's been stuck in the house like the rest of us, but it's going to get better, Hedwig. It's going to get better, okay? You want to listen to a Valentine's story today? You like Valentine's Day? I do too. Okay. Let's take a look at what we're going to read today. Hedwig, I'm going to put you right back there. While I get my stuff. You know, with Valentine's Day coming, you don't have to answer this out loud, but have you ever wondered what you would do if you had to give a Valentine to somebody you don't really like? How, how would you handle something like that? Would you be able to make them a Valentine? Well, that's the problem that this guy has. Gilbert is the star of our story today and it's called roses are pink and your feet really stink so let's see how gilbert is able to figure out how to write a nice poem for a boy who tweaked his nose or that girl that made fun of his glasses so let's see what he does roses are red your feet or i'm sorry i'm so used to saying that Roses Are Pink, Your Feet Really Stink by Diane DeGroat. There they were, 15 blank Valentine cards waiting to be filled with nice Valentine poems. They were sitting on the kitchen table in a pile <clears throat> as high as Gilbert's nose. Mrs. Bird had told them to write something nice for each classmate because Valentine's Day was about liking each other. Now, Gilbert liked Patty a lot. She had smiley eyes and a silly laugh that made Gilbert feel silly too. So he picked out the biggest card and wrote inside, Roses are red, violets are blue, your eyes are nice, and I like you. From Gilbert. Gilbert also liked his friend Frank. Frank let Gilbert use his baseball mitt once when Gilbert forgot to bring his own. So on Frank's card, he wrote, Your name is Frank, it isn't Hank. You lent me your mitt, so, I, so you I thank, Gilbert. This is fun, Gilbert thought. He continued to write nice Valentine poems until there were two cards left. One was for Lewis and one was for Margaret. Mmm. Gilbert didn't want to write a nice poem for Lewis because Lewis once tweaked Gilbert's nose until it turned red. And he really didn't want to write a nice poem for Margaret either because Margaret made fun of Gilbert's glasses. So he didn't write nice poems. Mmm. On Lewis's card, he wrote, Violets are blue, roses are pink. Your feet are big and they really stink. Now, Gilbert thought the poem was funny, but maybe Lewis wouldn't. Maybe he would tweak Gilbert's nose when he read it. Gilbert didn't want Lewis to tweak his nose again, so he didn't sign his name. He signed it Margaret. On Margaret's card, he wrote, Roses are red. You wet your bed. I think that you have rocks in your head. <gasps> now, Gilbert liked the poem, but he didn't think Margaret would. He didn't want Margaret to say mean things to him, so he signed the card. You guessed it. Lewis. Somebody else. Oh, no. There's going to be trouble. A 
On Valentine's Day, Gilbert walked to school with 15 cards and a tin of Valentine cookies that his mother had baked for the party. Mrs. Bird let everyone open their cards. One of Gilbert's cards had X's all over the envelope, so he opened it first and it said, Roses are red, violets are blue, you are my friend and I like you. And it was signed Patty. Gilbert smiled at Patty and Patty giggled back. Gilbert opened the rest of his cards. They were all very friendly. Even Lewis had written a poem for him. You may be small, you're not very tall, but I like the way that you play ball. From Lewis. Oh, Gilbert was happy that Lewis liked the way he played ball. And then Margaret wrote, Sometimes you are very sweet. I hope you brought nice cookies to eat. Love, Margaret. Hmm. Gilbert smiled to himself. Margaret thought that he was very sweet. He looked over at Margaret, but she wasn't happy with one of her valentines. Uh-oh. She stuck her tongue out at Lewis. Lewis wasn't happy with one of his valentines either, and he stuck his tongue out at Margaret. Margaret pushed Lewis. Lewis called Margaret a bad name. Mrs. Bird said, quiet, please. Valentine's Day is about liking each other, not about fighting. And she made the class do workbooks for the rest of the morning. Ooh, we know how that is. Everyone was mad at Lewis and Margaret. Even Gilbert. Why would Gilbert be mad? Hmm. When it was reading time, Margaret looked through all of her valentines again and said, I have two valentines from Lewis. Hmm. I have a good one and I have a bad one. Lewis said, I didn't write a bad one. Someone else wrote my name. Hmm. Look at this. I have two Valentines for Margaret. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And none from Gilbert. Then he shouted, Oh, no. Gilbert wrote the bad cards and signed our names. And Mrs. Bird said, Quiet, please. Told you there's going to be trouble. At lunch, nobody wanted to sit near Gilbert. Not even Patty. He had to sit all by himself. And when he peeked over his carrot and banana sandwich, he could see Patty and Lewis giggling at their table. Gilbert wondered if Lewis thought Patty had smiley eyes and a silly laugh, too. He saw Margaret eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like she did every day. Gilbert liked peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and wished that he was eating one, too. His friends aren't real happy with the way he acted, are they? At recess, nobody played with Gilbert, and Gilbert was very, very sorry that he had written two mean and nasty valentines. Whoops. When they all lined up to go outside, Patty finally asked, why did you write bad things about your friends, Gilbert? Because Lewis tweaked my nose and Margaret made fun of my glasses. Lewis said, I'm sorry I tweaked your nose, Gilbert. You can tweak mine if you want. So Gilbert gave Lewis's nose a little tweak, but it didn't turn red. And Margaret said, I'm sorry I made fun of your glasses, Gilbert. I'll wear them for the rest of the day. 
She put on Gilbert's glasses, but she couldn't see anything. And Gilbert couldn't see anything, so she gave them back. In art class, Gilbert made two new valentines out of red paper and lace. During spelling, Gilbert wrote a new poem for Lewis. Violets are blue, roses are pink. I'm sorry I said that your feet really stink. Then Gilbert thought of something nice about Margaret. He liked the way that she always smelled like peanut butter and jelly. So he wrote a new poem for her. Roses are red, jelly is sweet. You smell as good as the sandwich you eat. Then in math class, Gilbert figured out that he had 364 days before he would have to write any more Valentines. If you hear a funny noise, it's my dog Shasta playing with something on the floor. Finally, it was time for the party. Gilbert gave the new cards to Lewis and Margaret, and he passed out the cookies that his mother had baked. And each cookie said, Happy Valentine's Day. So be careful what you write, guys. Words can hurt. Before we go, um, there's something your teachers might want to download. Roses are pink, your feet really stink. And it's about how a character changes from the beginning of the story to the end of the story. And you can write out your answers and draw pictures. The first one says, in the beginning, Gil Gilbert felt how, and why did he feel that way? I'm not going to give you the answer. Hope you listened. In the middle of the story, how did he feel and why? And then, how did the story end and how did he feel? Kind of a fun little activity to do. So, I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.